service to Sunday school at 945 a.m. No Sunday school on the first Sunday. Morning works at 11 o'clock a.m. Holy Communion the first Sunday. Please come 15 minutes before church time to receive your communion sacraments. To our visitors, welcome. We are glad you are here. Welcome. Amen. January is scheduled for invocation of scriptures. Um, next Sunday is invocation of Minister Barbara Travis, scripture Minister Jennifer Freeman. Bible study is held every Wednesday evening at 7 o'clock p.m. Lessons are as follows. January the 18th, Revelations 11, 7 through 8. Wednesday, January the 25th, Revelations 11, 9 through 10. We've been having a Bible study, y'all. Amen. Amen. It's been Fruit for our soul. Amen. Amen. Sunday, January 22nd, Pastor Richard Gaines, Consolidated Baptist Church, will be the guest speaker at 11 o'clock a.m. Mm -hmm. Sunday, January 29th, Youth and Young Adults Day, 11 o'clock a.m. Mm -hmm. The month of January is our first fruits offering month. Honor the Lord with your possessions and with the first fruits of all your increase. Mm -hmm. So your barns will be filled with plenty and your vats will overflow with new wine. Mm -hmm. Proverbs 3, 9 through 10, <coughs> New King James Version. Weekly scripture readings, week of January the 15th, Psalms 3, 4 through 6, week of January 22nd, Psalms 3, 7 through 8. Please remember that those on our prayer list, Sister Brenda Rose, Trustee George Hill, Minister Walker and the Walker family, the whole Walker family, all bereaved families. You know me, I like to read the front of it. But fruit of the Spirit is love, yes. joy, mm -hmm. peace, yes. patience, uh -huh. kindness, mm -hmm. goodness, uh -huh. faithfulness, gentleness, oh, yeah. self-control. Mm -hmm. Galatians 5, 22 through 23. I believe I got eight. Keep these announcements in mind and govern yourselves accordingly. Thank you. Amen. Now we better pray. Amen. Amen. Gentlemen, Paul, we thank you. Thank you for your goodness and your kindness. Yes. Yes. Thank you for waking us up on this morning, yes. last night's lying down. Yes. Lord, we just come to give your name to praise. Yes. Because you are worthy of all of our praise. Yes. So in the midst of it all, Lord, we praise you. Yes. We thank you. Hallelujah. Yes. Glory yes. to God. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. We just thank you, God. Mm -hmm. Lord, we ask you to bless the bereaved on today, on, yes. on today, oh God. Lord, bless the ones that walk through this door. Yes. Hallelujah. We're ready to receive the blessings of God. Yes. Hallelujah. We ask you to bless our pastor on today, oh God. Yes. Hallelujah. Anoint him, oh God. Mm -hmm. Anoint the word. Already anointed word. Yes. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Bless the people that we receive. Yes. Take it in oh, yes. to our everyday life. Lord, as we bless our musicians on today, oh God. Yes. Continue to strengthen them. Hallelujah. Yes. Bless our, our earth at the door on today, oh God. Yes. Bless the whole congregation on today, oh God. Yes. Bless the praise team leader. Yes. Bless the choir. Hallelujah. Glory yes. oh, yes. to God. Yes. How long we just come to bless your name? Worthy, yes. worthy, worthy, worthy yes. of all of our praise. Yes. Hallelujah. Lord, give us strength on today, oh God. How do we go through life, oh God? Hallelujah. Lift, lifting up your name on today, yes. oh God. Yes. Oh God, we just ask you to bless in the way that you see fit on today, oh God. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name we do pray, we do thank you. Amen. 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 Glory. I shall be coming from Revelation, the third chapter, verses 14 through 19. Mm -hmm. Revelation 3, mm -hmm. verses 14 through 19. Mm -hmm. And it shall read as follows. Mm -hmm. And unto the Lord, to the angel of the church of Laodicea, Right. These things said, Amen. The fruit, the faithful and true witness, beginning of the creation of God. I know thy works, that thou art neither cold nor hot. I would that you would cold or hot. So then, because thou art lukewarm, neither cold nor hot, I will spew you out of my mouth. Yes. Because I said I am rich, mm -hmm. increased in goods, and have need of nothing, mm -hmm. 
and know it not that thou art rich, miserable, poor, blind, and naked. I counsel thee to buy of me gold tried in the fire, that thou may be rich and white garments, and that thou may be clothed, that thou the shame of thy nakedness do not appear. Anoint thine eyes with eye say that thou mayest see. Verse 19, as many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. Be jealous, therefore, and repent. Could I read just that 19th one? As many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. Be jealous, therefore, and repent. Amen. I have read in your hearing from Revelation, the third chapter, verses 14 through 19. And may the Lord add a blessing Amen. to the reading of his word. You may be seated. Amen.
Say word. Lord, I will read, read actually from the English Standard Version Bible, uh, verses 17 through 19, and reads as follows For you say, I am rich, I have prospered, and I need nothing. Now realizing that you are wretched, pitiful, poor, blind, and naked. I counsel you to buy from me gold refined by fire so that you may be rich and white garments so that you may be clothed, that you may clothe yourself. The shame of your nakedness may not be seen. And I say, to anoint your eyes so that you may see. Verse 19. Those whom I love, I reprove and discipline. So be zealous and repent. You may be seated. Most gracious. Refined 
by fire so that you may be rich and white garments so that you may be clothed yourself and the shame of your nakedness may not be seen and sad to anoint your eyes so that you may see those whom I love I reprove and discipline so be zealous and repent for the time we share together my brothers and sisters I want to talk from the same stuff I did last week the lukewarm church the lukewarm church we talked about last week where the amen which was Jesus said you're neither hot nor cold. Mm -hmm. I'd rather you be hot or cold, one or the other, mm -hmm. but you neither. And so I spew you out of my mouth when translation to I vomit you out of my mm -hmm. mouth. I regurgitate you out of my life because you're neither hot nor cold. But in these next three verses, 17 through 19. I call it, you're not who you think you are. All right. I call verse 17, you're All not right. who you say you are. All right. All right. Watch the text as it unfolds. You say, All right. you keep saying, All right. I'm rich. Mm. And I have prospered. Mm -hmm. And I need nothing. I have no need to anything. Mm -hmm. That's who you think you are. Let's put this right. You think you have arrived. All right. But I'm about to expose you. All right. All right. Because you are who you think you are. Mm -hmm. Let me say this because you can be successful in life, don't mean you got it. Amen. You can have all the money in the world, but if you don't have Jesus, you got nothing. Amen. Hello, somebody. Amen. And so we, we go out. And there's nothing wrong with this, okay? But we, we need to get our priorities right. That's right. We get our priorities straight. Yeah. The Bible says, and Matthew talked to me, God, Matthew 6 33, mm -hmm. he says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God yeah. and his righteousness. Mm -hmm. Watch this. And the other thing shall be added or provided yeah. for you. Yeah. What Jesus said, he said, this is Jesus talking. He said, I need the church. I need the people of God who say there are two authentic believers. I need to seek me first. Yes, yes. Not the things of the world. Amen. Because these things, I'll show you a minute, these things will perish. Yes. They will fade away, but guess what? I will not fade away. Amen. I am true and I am authentic. Amen. Watch this. The stuff you go after will lose its value. Mm -hmm. But I won't lose my value. I will maintain my life. Yeah. And so here in this church at Laodicean thought they had arrived because what they thought they had was all that they needed. Yeah. But watch this. Not realizing that you are wretched. He just, he just called them who they are. Mm -hmm. Like it is. You're wretched. Mm -hmm. Watch this. And the, 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 uh, uh, the English Standard Bible says uh, you're pitiful. Mm -hmm. Which really, really means you're pitiful. All right. Not only are you pitiful, but watch this. <laughs> you are miserable. Mm -hmm. And you are very unhappy, but you don't know it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can you, you know, says, we have a lot of people who walk around being happy. All right. Okay, excuse my grandma. Not happy. All right. Look like they're happy, Look. but they're not happy. Right. We find people now who look like they're happy, got it all together, but in inwardly, internally, they're messed up. All right. yeah. They're literally jacked up. Mm -hmm. And so Jesus, through the writings of John, he starts to expose this church for who they really are. All right. All right. You're poor. And watch it. Literally, what he's talking about, you are all this spiritually. You got all this stuff together in the natural, but spiritually, you are poor. Mm -hmm. Watch this, watch this, watch the test. He says, and you blind. Right. Yes, you got your glasses on. Yes, you got 2020. He said, but you're spiritually blind. Yeah. 
and all that, but you are spiritually naked. You think you're all that in that church, but you are not that. All right, all right. You are not who you say you are. You're not who you think you are. Because I'm exposing you for who you are. All right, all right. And for what you are. You're wretched, you're miserable, you're pitiful. Mm -hmm. Unhappy. Mm -hmm. Watch the rest of the text. This lay of sin, lay of the sin in the church was spiritually, watch this, self indulged what that means, they were misled mm -hmm. and they were deceived. Mm -hmm. You can deceive yourself. Amen. Think you're right and you're totally wrong. Amen. The enemy can have us to a mindset that we think we're there, but we're literally not. And we're misled yeah. by the enemy. Mm -hmm. Watch this. Because the church mm -hmm. was wealthy, mm -hmm. watch this. I used to, anybody who talk to me, this church Thought it was wealthy. It assumed. Uh -huh. Anybody told me assuming is dangerous. Yes, it, is. Yes, it, is. it is literally dangerous. Yes. This church literally thought and assumed they were all right. Uh -huh. But this, they needed, they thought they needed nothing. When I in actuality, they were spiritually impoverished. Me, they were spiritually dead. Watch this. The church believed that it had it had watch it had expensive garments, expensive Gucci, mm -hmm. Louis Vuitton, mm -hmm. and all this stuff. Y'all know. 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 Y'all Stacey Adams and all that stuff. You got you thinking all that because what you got on, you think you got it. This is what Jesus said. You think you got all that and you think that's it, but Jesus is going and he said, I'm exposing you. I don't care how much you spend on your clothes, on your shoes, on your purse, on your wallet, that ain't it. Thank you well for when it was really spiritually naked. Catch that. All this expensive attire. Mm -hmm. But you were really spiritually naked. All right. wow. It believed. Yeah. Watch this. That physical sight mm -hmm. indicated the ability mm -hmm. to see spiritually. Mm -hmm. When it was actually blind to spiritual realities. Mm -hmm. Watch the text. They should anoint their eyes with eyesight. That is, gain the true spiritual vision through enlightenment of the Holy Spirit or the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Yeah. Let me hand for a moment. We don't really talk now. You already seen the form of again. Mm -hmm. We don't really talk too much about the Holy Ghost. All right. Like we used to when I was growing up. When I was going big, the, the old saints told us, babies, you need the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. yeah. And babies, we need the Holy Ghost now more than ever. Yes, the purpose of the Holy Ghost is to lead and guide us into all truth. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen? Don't let me go to Matthew 2 John chapter 14. Mm -hmm. We need in this dispensation the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. The leader and the guide. Yes, yes. We need it. Yes. Watch verse 18. I'm going to move on. The Lord said this thing. I counsel. I advise you. Listen to this. To buy from me. <laughs> you buy all this stuff from where else, but I need you to buy from me. Watch the text. Refine by fire. Mm -hmm. So that you may be rich spiritually. Yes. Naturally rich, but spiritually poor. Mm -hmm. Poor. Okay, poor. Spiritually poor. Mm -hmm. And this way the church was spiritually poor. 
And watch this. I, I, I mean, read, read, read this. Refine by fire so that you may be rich. Watch this. Talks about gold. Mm -hmm. In the text, it talks about gold. Mm -hmm. Watch this. And I need to really get this. I really need to get this. Gold is valuable. Mm -hmm. Gold is supposedly refined through fire. Mm -hmm. When it's refined through fire, it is purified. Yes. And shows its true value mm -hmm. of the gold. Mm -hmm. But Jesus, through John's writing, is not talking about the natural gold. I ask the text a question, what are you talking about mm -hmm. when you say go in the text? Watch this. This goal is a goal of faith. All right. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give you the little principle in a minute. And I'll you will show it in a minute. I'm going to give you a biblical principle. The goal is our faith. Mm -hmm. It's our faith. Mm -hmm. Really? Yes. Mm -hmm. Really. I'll show you biblically. Mm -hmm. Watch this. Which is worth more than all the gold of this world. No matter how pure or how valuable that material gold might be. Our faith is more valuable than gold. Our faith is more valuable than gold. Ross III, give me 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 7. Here we are. This is King James. Mm -hmm. The trial, the test mm -hmm. of your faith being, what's this, being much more precious. Mm -hmm. That word precious in the text means valuable. Yes. That gold, this is that perish. Yes. Through, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise. And honor and glory at the appearing of Jesus Christ. Our faith mm -hmm. is more precious than gold. All right. All right. Here we go. Our faith is tested every day. Yes. 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 Watch this. The enemy knows how valuable our faith is in whom we serve. Yes. The, the, the writer says, one writer says, I know in whom I believe. I know in whom I trust. Yes. I know in whom I rely on and rely in. And my faith in him yes. is more genuine and precious than pure gold. And so here in Jesus, through the writing of John, said, Church, and we have a sin, and church in the 21st century, your faith is more precious than gold. Yes. You search him there, but you need to get more faith. You need to ask God to give you more faith. Because the devil knows that when you believe God, you will get some results. Right. Come on, somebody. Come here. Come here. Come here. When, God, when God says your faith is more present, he knows that the enemy is trying to kill your faith. Yeah. In whom you serve, you go through, but God says, I will bring you out. Trust me. Yeah. Lean on me. Depend on me. I will. But yeah. trust me. Yeah. Trust me. Yeah. I don't care what the enemy is saying in your mind. Rebuke that spirit in the name of Jesus. Yeah. And trust me. Yeah. It looks crazy right now. Yeah. It looks bad right now. Yeah. It looks chaotic right now. Yeah. But trust me and watch me bring you out. By trusting me, I'll bring you out. Yes, I didn't tell you I'm going to bring you out. Mm -hmm. I just told you I'm going to bring you out. Yeah. And sometimes when I'm making you wait, I'm testing your patience. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Your patience is very short. Uh -huh. Your patience is very thin. So sometimes I got to make you wait a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. To make you authentically trust me. Because when he comes quickly, we don't really trust him. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. And when we hang away on him, our faith has been tried. Yeah. Our faith has been tested. Yeah. Good. I want to tell you something. If you 
hold on to your faith? Yes, sir. In God? Uh -huh. Watch him work it out. Amen. Jesus will? Yes, he will. Work it out. Work it out. Jesus will? Yes. Fix it. Yes, he will. Wait a minute, the song says, after a while. After Wait a minute, it don't say right now. All right. It says, the song says, Jesus will fix it after a while. Right. Oh, bless his name, Jesus. <laughs> Meaning suggested to us that he is going to come in. Yeah. But you just got to wait. Yeah. He may not come when you want him. Come here, y'all. But he's right on time. He is an on time God. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Oh, bless his name. God wants to leave us mm -mm -mm. to be rich in faith. Can I tell y'all something? You have a million dollars, but you got enough faith, you can feel rich. You can walk rich. You can talk rich. And you can even act rich. Because why? Because my daddy, my daddy God, come here, come here. My daddy God is rich in houses and in land. My daddy. You got to be this person. All of us in here, you got to be the person. Uh -huh. My daddy yes, sir. will heal me. Uh -huh. My daddy yeah. will provide for me. Yeah. My daddy will make a way out of nowhere. Yeah. My daddy. Yeah. Can I tell you something? You better start bragging on your daddy. I'm still stuck. 
So I go into my cell, walking in the cold, can't get in my car. I said, God, you gotta fix this. You gotta fix this. I didn't say, Ray, you gotta fix it. I didn't say, Ray, you gotta fix it. I said, God, you gotta fix this. I had some patience, though. Can I be transparent for a minute? Because when I first told him to fix it, I didn't have patience. My faith was being tested. That's why I paid with Teddy. I paid with experience. I died in the cold. Can't get in the car. And listen to this. I had an extra value to remote, a new one. Put it in. Still wouldn't work. Still wouldn't open up. So I'm waiting on dead God. He teaches me patience. I'm in the cold. He teaches me patience. So I'll go inside somewhere just to warm up a little bit. Watch this. I'll go back down. And some cars have these black buttons you each door and have you open and lock that way too. So I go around on the passenger side. I hit the black button. And it does something it's supposed to do. I go around on the driver's side. I don't hit the black button. I hit the remote. The remote opens. The test of your faith yes. is more precious than gold. Yes, but I rely on daddy God once I got myself together. All right. Once I get when I say talk about get myself together, when I start relying and having patience yes, on whom I call on. Yes. Okay. And watch it and it open. Mm -hmm. My next challenge was if it opens, would it start? It started. I want to make sure. I cut it off. Shouldn't have fine. But I did. Because I trust Daddy God. If you started it once, you gonna start again. Come on, y'all. And so I thought it again and started right up. So I called who was coming to, to see. I said, don't come. It opened up. The remote work. Because Bertha said I want a good pop a lock and all that stuff. And all that. But God, Daddy God, will work it out. Listen to me. No matter what your situation is, I said it for this reason. No matter what your situation is, Daddy God, when you trust Him and wait on Him, have patience. Have patience. He taught me patience yesterday. In the cold, hands cold, not working. He taught me this way on me. And while you wait, trust me. And watch me do what I do best. It's blessed. Watch the next portion of verse number 18. And white garments so that you may clothe yourself and the shame of your nakedness may not be seen. You got to find garments on, but you're naked. You clothe well, but you're naked. Mm -hmm. To keep your shameful nakedness from showing, receive from God white clothing, garments of triumph, of righteousness. Mm -hmm. You have natural clothes on, but do you have spiritual garments of righteousness on? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Raymond, give me 19 and 8, Revelation 19 and 8. Listen to this. When you got the promise of righteousness on. He says, this is to the church. And to her was granted that she should be arrayed in fine linen, clothed in white for the refined, for the fine linen, fine linen, what is, is the righteousness. Fine linen is the righteousness. This is King James. Fine linen is the righteousness, what is the righteousness of the saints, or of the saints. This is God, he said, put on the God of righteousness. Don't worry about all that other stuff. Put on the God of righteousness. 
What is our sex? Yes, yes. <laughs> a righteous man, real in, in their lives through sanctification. Saint, I gotta say this sanctification. We're talking about sanctification no more, even too much. This sanctification needs set apart. Set yourself apart from everything that is not of God. Listen to this. Sanctify yourself. <laughs> or through the sanctification, watch it, of the Holy Spirit or the Holy Ghost. Sanctification. Setting yourself apart. Okay, let me go this route. When I was, when I was a boy, we used to have them revive for two weeks. Mm -hmm. You were there one week, one day. Mm -hmm. And we'll do two weeks straight. Mm -hmm. Listen to this, and people will come to revive. Amen. They will come to revive. You can't get people to revive now. That's why people have that one day revival. Mm -hmm. And when everybody came to two weeks mm -hmm. to revive. And I remember the old mothers would tell us after the revival was over, they would push to the side. And they would say, Now you say, Can I go old school for a minute? Amen. Amen. Now you say, baby, now you need to be sanctified. Uh -huh. You need to be set apart. Yeah. And when I, when I was going to they used to tell us, You can't be playing marbles, baby. Yeah. You can't play marbles, baby. You need to sanctify yourself. Watch it. And so God can sanctify you holy. Yeah, that's it. That's it. How am I talking? All right. That's also. Right. And don't teach us. Because you need to be set apart and be sanctified holy so you can receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Hear me clearly. The Holy Ghost is not going to come in an unclean temple. Amen. He is not going, the third person of the Trinity will not come into an unclean temple. Amen. And that's why they tell you, you got to be sanctified. Clean yourself up. Amen. We don't teach that no more. Amen. But I heard my bishop say, old stuff is good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. And so we need to be sanctified. Yes. And sanctified holy. That's the only song about sanctify holy, that he may sanctify you, sanctify you holy. Yeah. Yeah. Watch this. Listen mm -hmm. to this. And sad to anoint your eyes so that you may see. I sad. Let me tell you, talk, tell you about, about this. This church, this land, the scene church. This church was known for the center of banking, textiles, medicine, and eyesight. Mm -hmm. This is what this, this, this city was known for. Right. Banking, textiles, medicine, and sad. Mm -hmm. Watch this. Jesus uses what you've been accustomed to to heal your eyes. Mm -hmm. But it's his eyesight. Yes. All right. Not your eyesight. Because you can't see spiritually. Mm -hmm. With your eyesight. Amen. Watch this. They needed to buy of Christ a special ornament in order to anoint their eyes. Which is with spiritual spiritual eyesight so they might see watch it, see their state not the church of Philadelphia not Smyrna he wanted to see their state the church as a whole, their state who they really are and how they really like or what they really like brother. he wanted to see that I don't need you to see nobody else. I need you to see yourself and see the state that you are in spiritually. All right. mm -hmm. He tells him this. He says, don't you point your finger at somebody else. You look at you. Yeah. We have a tendency to look at somebody else and not look at us. All right. But in the text, he said, you need 
as a church home, but also individually too. Look at your state. Look at the state that you're in spiritually. And as you are exposed to the state you're in spiritually, you better do something about it. Do not be content. Do not be satisfied in the spiritual state that you're in. Yeah. It's time to make a change. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Watch the text. They needed, to, needed the help of the Spirit and the Word in order to have a clear vision of Christ, of heaven, and the things of the Spirit, of Christ, of heaven, and the things of the Spirit. Those are three things. Trinity. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Heavenly eyes are to see Who they are. Why it's 19 and we're coming home. I love this. Before I read it, I want to talk about five seconds for a moment. God is merciful. Yes, he is. God is patient to a certain extent. And then his patience runs out. Somebody said this morning, maybe Sister Teresa. It was. It is not the will of the Father that anybody should perish. Amen. It's his will that everybody be saved. Mm -hmm. It's his will that everybody makes, makes it into the kingdom. Mm -hmm. He allows opportunity. Yes. He allows space mm -hmm. for we, the people of God, to connect with him. Watch verse 19. He says, Whom I love. Yes. He doesn't say whom I hate. Right. He says, Whom I love. And what's Jesus suggests to us that even though you in this thing, I still love you. Yes. Oh, yes. Isn't that beautiful? Yes. Yes. Even wretched, pitiful, pitiful yes. poor, naked, I still love Love you. Yeah. In whom I love. Yeah. Yeah. But as I love you, I got to do something. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I reprove. I reprove. I rebuke. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you this. And I point out your faults. Yeah. Yeah. Can I hang my head for a moment yeah. here? Yeah. I point out your faults. Now, as I point out your faults, what you do when I point out to you is a view. Because yeah. I'm showing you for who you are. Uh -huh. And I'm hoping that when I point these faults out to you, you make a change. Yeah. All right. yeah. You don't maintain your wretchedness. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Amen. You don't maintain your nakedness spiritually. Yeah. You don't maintain your poorness spiritually. I love you. Watch this. Mm, mm, mm. Listen to this. It includes the idea of expose, rebuke, refute, and to show, to show, this is to show, to be guilty. To show be guilty. He exposes us to show that we're guilty. Yes. We, yes. we, all of us, uh -huh. to expose us that we're guilty. Mm -hmm. He shows us us. Yes, Again, what we do, what, we, what he shows us is up to us. Mm -hmm. Do you love God enough to change? Mm -hmm. Watch this. <laughs> the Spirit, this is what the Spirit is to do. The Spirit is to convict and convince. Yes. Can I say again? To convict mm -hmm. and to convince. Right. <laughs> By proof. Amen. By proof. It makes no sense to come to church Sunday after Sunday, Wednesday after Wednesday, and there's no change. All right. All right. We hear God speaking through His Word, and we turn a deaf ear. I'm going to say, like I said, we're, it's, it's, we're on dangerous ground when we don't hear what God says in His Word. Mm -hmm. And we come to church out of habit. Mm -hmm. Because Mama didn't told us that we were to church when we were out of Lehigh to a cricket. All right. 
But if we don't make a change, we come to church for nothing. Hear me, y'all. We come to church in vain. The church, the building, because we're the church. But the building coming to the worship is to make us change, to cause us to change, and draw us closer to Him. To make us who we're supposed to be in Him. It's not come for a habit. It's not come for a tradition. It's to come to make us righteous, to come make us holy, and be right with Him. Yes. Watch the rest of the text as I come home. The evidence of truth is a fact. We are who we are. And we need to make a change. Yes, he goes on again in verse number 19. He says, to be zealous. To be zealous. Have that zeal. Have that urgency. All right. All right. And I love the last word. Y'all this zeal and all that zealous and all that stuff. But he said, and repent. Yes. Yeah. Means turn from and turn yes. to him. Turn from who we are and turn to him to change us. Amen. To who he wants us to be. Amen. 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 Wow. He says, be serious. Be serious. Be serious about our walk with him. Don't be haphazard. Be serious about our walk with him. He said, change your heart. Change your heart. Our spiritual arteries are clogged. 80-90% clogged. We need a spiritual stint. Thank you, God, for that tweet. That ain't even my notes. What ain't my notes? The heart has to be changed. The arteries are clogged spiritually. 80-90% clogged. The heart vial is clogged. Which allows the blood to pump. It's clogged spiritually. Watch this. Repentance. I hear I will say this again. Repentance. Hold on. Thank you, Lord. See, sometimes you don't know repent at the altar. Because we worry about what people are going to say. Don't worry about them. Worry about your life. Your spiritual life. Because people can't put you in heaven or hell. But you go that way, they can keep you out of heaven. Repentance. Again, turn from who we are and turn to who God wants us to be. Repentance would mean to change of attitude. My attitude's got to be changed. Because my attitude is not right. I come to church and got to have a better attitude. I come to church with a fire spirit. My attitude has got to be changed. God changed me. Watch the rest of the text. Not only change my attitude, but change my heart. Because what I feel in my heart, what I'm harboring in my heart, is not right. God, do a heart transplant. On my spiritual heart. If I go to Ezekiel, Ezekiel talks about the heart. Yes. Talks about the, 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 how, how, how bad the heart is. How foul the heart is. In Ezekiel, when God is saying, I'm telling my church, you need to get your attitude right. right. You need not only get your attitude right, you need to get your heart right. Come on in the table, come on in the surgery room, and let me operate on you. And listen this, and I will cut you, and you won't have the health stitches. All right. Yeah. I'm going to cut you, and you won't have to have anesthesia. Amen. All right. I'm going to cut you, and you ain't got to go under. All right. I'm going to cut you while you're wide awake. And if I cut you, I'm going to change you while you're wide awake. But I can't do it in the surgery until you allow me to do the surgery. Wait a minute. In the natural, you have to have consent for the surgeons to operate. Yes. Am I right about it? Yes. And so God said, I can't do the surgery until you give me consent. Yes. I have to have operating consent. 
But once you get the consent, and you really mean the surgery, mm -hmm. I'm going to do the work. Yeah. And as I do the work, I'm going to be glorified. Right, as I do the work, I'm going to be honored because you are no longer going to be the same. Mm -hmm. Your mindset will be changed. Right. Your heart will be changed. Yeah. Your attitude will be changed. Mm -hmm. And your walk will be changed. Yeah. And your talk will be changed. Yeah. And I got to, you got to allow me to do, do the work. Do the work, do the work, do the work, do, do the work, God. Yes. Do the work. I keep telling you, this is the year. This is the year. Lord, make me better. Yes. Yes. You can't do what you did in 2022. Yes. You can't act like you did in 2022. Yes. 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 You can't walk and you walk in 2022. Yes. God is saying, I need my church to change. Yes. Not going to be on it, but the people who said in the building, I need my church to change. Yes. Too much stuff is going on and people are going out. When, what, what happens to jail? That all wakes some people up.
We're going to send an invitation to the choir with a couple notes as we do an extended invitation. Whatever you need, we can come. We can come. Whatever you need from the Lord, we are you come.
God, I pray you bless these who have come to the altar. They have come for various reasons, God. Some come for spiritual strength. Strengthen them where the wind be away to one now. Draw them close to you. As they draw close to you, you draw close to them. In the name of Jesus. Those that are going through, lift the burden, lift the load, God. In the name of Jesus. God, I pray, God, to bless the name and name and one God. Yeah. God, I pray, God, that you will bless our fish of the world. Touch their hearts, touch their minds. Number one, to be saved. Number two, to seek you for guidance and direction, God. As they make decisions for the world, God. Touch in the name of Jesus. Bless California, God. In the severe weather they have been experiencing, God. I pray you bless them. You move on their behalf, God. In the name of Jesus. Bless those, even in Kentucky, a few days ago, who have lost some things. You bless in a mighty wonder way. These blessings we ask in Jesus' mighty and awesome name we pray. And we thank you. Amen. Amen. The Lord bless you. Lord keep you. This is our prayer. Bless you. Yes, ma'am.